Hello and welcome to part 3 of Sam and Max Save the World. Last time we got rid of people's uh, hypnosis. Hypnosis. And we got some psychoanalysis by Sybil. And uh, I think we are done here for now. Let's go out. We only need to get rid of one more, and that's uh, the guy Specs, who's painting all those Brady. Can't remember his name. This this guy over here, not here, but here. That guy Specs. Um, I remember seeing something on a cow over here in the last episode. Um, but uh, I didn't think more about it. But it's a spray can. Could probably use this to get hey, rid of it. Can of spray paint, and it's not even empty. This could use a little improvement. Oh, he's pretty. Hey, hey, hey! You messed it up. Oh, now I've got to fix it, brain freeze. So if we go to the apartment now and drop a bowling ball onto his head, maybe that will fix it, probably. Because our window is... And it Max teleports again. Got magic powers. And if we use bowling ball on the open window and drop it, and they conveniently play specs. Can you believe we get paid for this? I love this country. You made me mess up. <laughs> And now this is quality television! Wait a second... My evil plan is in ruins! The dog and bunny will rue the day they crossed me! Rue the day, I say! <laughs> well, we've admired our handiwork long enough. Maybe just one more second? Okay, let's go. Um... Now I'm completely lost on what to do. Yoo-hoo! Tiny hoodlums! Nope. I think we should go find him, that... Brad... Brady... Brad... Brad... Oh my god, I forget his name all the time. Oh yeah, what if we use that technique she used on Whee! the other guy? <coughs> uh... Take control yeah. of your mind. Is it working? I don't know. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Snap out of it, you big baby! What? What's going on? Why is my outfit all wrinkled? He's back. Quick, act like a chicken. No, tell us where we can find Brady Culture's home for former child stars. We've got to stop that fiend from hypnotizing anyone else. The home? It's 227-something. Wizard would remember the street. He always does the driving. Can you take us there? Are you kidding? I've got hours, hours of ironing to do. Well, that was helpful. Brady Culture, that was his name. I'm feeling so smart today. I'm gonna try to wake up with us. With his pants. And there he is. Hello! Um, well, hello! Take control of your mind. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Nicely done, Sam. You're a natural. Oh, where am I? Who are you? Don't worry, we're freelance police. Police? Oh no! 
He's getting away in that truck! Quick, follow that soda popper. I think we're going driving. Yes. Hurry, Sam! He's getting away! I can see you! Time out for number one! Take the wheel, everybody! With pleasure! Got it! Yes! Don't shoot! Aside from the fact that we just plugged your truck, why would you think we'd shoot you? Except for the obvious sport value, of course. It's just... you always see cops on the news beating up some guy just because he's a former child star. We would never dream of hurting former child stars. We just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. Oh, why didn't you say so? It's right over there! Across the street! Jumping elephant fleas! How devilishly convenient! Thanks. Um, does anyone know where I can find a bathroom? Very convenient indeed. That place is pretty shady. Holy crap. Mission exit door. Moon man. Take a look at that poster. The power of Ibo. Looks more like the glower of Ibo. Alley of Perpetual Darkness. Alright. What about that Mole Man poster? Whee! Looks like a shifty character to me. Don't they all? Monkey. Let's talk with the monkey. Disturbing little monkey. Reminds me of a job I had once. You were a monkey? Essentially. Can we form me? I guess this is where you stick your admission form. So we need the admission form first. Okay. Hmm. It says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality disorder. Sounds tasty. What's in it? Apparently it's common in former child stars. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with money, violent reactions to hairstyling, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Forsooth! You don't even know what that means, do you? No, but it sounds all classically literate. Hmm, it says here the order. Apparently it's common, upset, violent, and an un- So I think we need to go back to Sybil. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. I'm getting, uh, <laughs> Didn't I just do that? Maybe I screwed up the saves. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Hmm, interesting. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with money, violent reactions to hairstyling, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Hey, I know! I could psychoanalyze you! What's free association like? It's a test of your reactions to things in your life. I say a word, and then you just say or do the first thing that comes into your head. Dance a samba, recite the alphabet, scream at the top of my lungs, that sort of thing? Hmm, interesting. Have we started already? No, but now we will. Ready? Is that the word? No, the word is tumbleweed. Tumbleweed. Let's try the fan again. Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. Trigger word induces grisly memory in subject. Possibility of Finfelter syndrome. Now try this one. Crown. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Wonder if that's the word for money she's using. Whoa! Don't shoot! Violent reaction! Violent reaction! You should see him at Thanksgiving. Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Home.
That's the hairstyle thing. Whoa! Don't shoot! Violent reaction! Violent reaction! You should see him at Thanksgiving. Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Well, this has been illuminating. Yes? Your reactions indicate that you're a generally violent person. I'm disturbed to hear that. Me too. I've always thought of you as a specifically violent person. Hmm. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to hairstyling. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Sure, go ahead. Cow. Cow. This reminds me of a cat I had once. Trigger word brings up memories of cat. No, no, the fox does. Brings up memories of fox. No, the fox. Oh, forget it. Causes subject to forget foxes. Possible Alzheimer's. How about this word? Drill. Can I play with that? No. Trigger word results in childlike impulses, indicative of id distortion. Dryer. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ah, the tiki. Hold over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Subject displays symptoms of ironic nostalgia complex. Well, this has been illuminating. What's the verdict? I'll let you know after years of insanely expensive treatment. Anything to support small local businesses. We can always sell organs on the black market to raise the cash. Just so they're not ours, little buddy. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to hairstyling. Well... How do ink blots work? And can we make them ourselves? It's easy. I just show you some pictures, and you tell me what you see. Your responses can reveal things like obsessions, or... Uh, obsessions. Take a look at this, and tell me what you see. Well, uh, I did this in the last episode, but oh well, okay, we'll try it again. Pennies on the eyes of a dead mine. Interesting. Now, how about this one? Um, obsession with money. Uh, pigeons, rookie man, Sunny's dishing. An SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. And this? Yes. My Uncle oh. Louie's moth-eaten wallet. Now this, this one. one. What do you see? Yeah, and this one. That's Elephants at the money. New York Stock Exchange. And this one? Yeah, yeah, there's many of them. Through a document it's, shredder. Hmm. Well, all. judging by your responses, you seem to be fairly obsessed with That's money. a symptom of artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark it on your chart. Very interesting. We should test you for the other symptoms of APD. Whatever you say, Sawbones. I'm not a Sawbones. I'm a psychotherapist. Tomato, tomato. Hey, I'm getting hungry. No, no, that's gone. So I didn't let's try do some that more free association. Right. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Fire away, Grizzly. Lug nut. Shock nut. Ah, the tiki. Hold over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Subject displays symptoms of ironic nostalgia complex. Fluoride. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Fluoride. Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. Trigger word induces grisly memory in subject. 
possibility of Finfelter syndrome. Teasing. <laughs> hey, that was fun. Hey, you're fogging up my glasses. Sorry. That could be symptomatic of humor dysplasia. I'd better make a note of that. Well, this has been illuminating. Am I sane? The jury's still out. Your reactions didn't tell me anything conclusive. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to hairstyling. Still not that one. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Ready as a rooster taking a bath in barbecue sauce. Interesting choice of words. How about pastiche? <laughs> That's not a word, is it? Sorry about that, I just had to check up on something. Let's see, uh, Pestige was it? Yes. Pink Passenger. Your sign is crooked. You ought to straighten it. Subject exhibits proclivities for order upon hearing trigger word. Possible OCD. Polish. Polish. Oh, that's very significant. Closets are often associated with feelings of shame. Hey, it's your closet. Shampoo. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. That has to be hairstyling. Let's shoot her then. Whoa! Don't shoot! Violent reaction! Violent reaction! You should see him at Thanksgiving. Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Well, this has been illuminating. Yes? Your responses lead me to believe that you have an unusually violent reaction to hairstyling. You should see him at the podiatrist's. It could be symptomatic of artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark this on your chart. You have two of the symptoms listed on this form. Am I deranged? I don't want to alarm you, but probably. Can I have your hat when they commit you? Sure, little buddy. Oh, what was the last? Oh, childhood. Childhood was the last. Can you really learn anything from my grotesque, nonsensical dreams? Oh, absolutely. They reveal your subconscious. It's like peeling an onion. Youch! Now just relax and try to remember your dream. Okay, here goes. My dreams always start in the office. But this time, things were different. Mmm, yes, I can picture it. Tell me what happened. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, you had a special guest. Who was it? Try me. It was me! You? Hmm. I think you... represent yourself. I didn't even realize that was possible. Oh, sure. Any crazy thing's possible in psychoanalysis. <gasps> Tell me, did the other you say or do anything... unexpected? No, the usual. Hi, Sam. How are you? I'm fine, Sam. And yourself? Not too shabby. Fascinating. Where does your mind come up with this stuff? I noticed something bizarre in the closet. Yes, we put things in the closet we want to hide away, things we're ashamed of. Please, Sam, what's in your closet? Lottery tickets. A whole stack of lottery tickets. Interesting. Perhaps you feel you don't really earn your money. Don't worry, lady. We get paid to crack skulls. And by that measure, we ought to be millionaires. What about the rat hole? I noticed something weird sticking out of the rat hole. Mmm. The rats are pests. They represent something bothersome. Tell me, what was in the hole? It was that staple office knick-knack, the clacking balls. 
not unlike the ones on your desk. Oh, do you not like the balls? No, Sybil, I don't like the balls. Well, I don't like the balls. I didn't notice anything. Then why? I don't know. Interact. Notice something strange growing on my plant. Yes, the plant represents a source of sustenance. What was on it? Soda can. It was a can of some unknown carbonated beverage. Uh, I think you need a dietitian, not a therapist. I noticed something strange growing on my plant. A source of sustenance. What was on it? A hefty sack of cash was in full flower. Oh, you think money grows on trees? You're dreaming. I remembered that I'd just gotten something from the bakery. Oh, sounds like you and your special guest there were having a little celebration. What did you get? Birthday. It was an overly frosted birthday cake. Hmm, someone's another year closer to the grave, eh? I noticed something odd on the dartboard. Oh, something you're shooting for. What was your target? It was a beautiful picture of a toilet brush. Hmm, Freud warned of this. Tell me, Sam, do you take pleasure in moving your own bowels? I take pleasure in moving others. I noticed something peculiar in the water cooler. Ah, the water cooler, a source of refreshment. What was in it? Well, there was a magazine. It was a crisp new copy of Self Loading Weekly. Oh, that is refreshing. I never miss an issue. Well, let's jump out. I prepared to leap out of the window. Oh, was that the end of your dream? Yes, it was. Yep, then I woke up screaming. I can see why. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their subconscious desire to see their peers age. Oh, yeah, that's right. Peers age. Yep, 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 yep. Well, that was it for this episode, so it kind of ended like the last episode, but this time we had to do it, so see you in the next episode, uh, signing out.